Oh! <laughs> Shit! Forgot that was in there. What's going on YouTube? It's three o'clock right now and I'm starting a video today pretty late from my normal, but I got an idea. We were sitting around here and I was cleaning up my room and I realized that all my camera shit and just all my gear is just kind of like thrown all over my room. And I have this like open area right here with just some beanbag chairs and stuff in it. That's normally where I film from, but I'm gonna turn that into like a whole camera gear section. So I know a lot of you guys have asked in previous videos what I film with and what gear do I use, this and that. I made a video a while ago about stuff that I carry in my camera bag with me, but it's kind of a garbage video. I don't really like it, so I'm not even gonna link that. So this will be a kind of follow up to that. I'll show you what gear I'm using now and hopefully have a cool little setup here in a second. That thing's done. I got that at Walmart. It was like 25 bucks and it's all right, I guess. JF's got some ideas. I'm gonna like rearrange my room for a second. So let's see if this works. Oh, shit. Forgot that was in there. All right, this is what I got going on now. Shit everywhere, camera stuff, skiing stuff, guns and knives. So now I got this like giant open space here throughout my whole room. So I got like all this room to film. So now I'm going to start filling this with all sorts of like gear, whether it's camera equipment or just other stuff that I had in the shelf here. And I'm just going to go across the camera equipment as I come along and let you guys know what I use regularly, what just kind of sits on the back burner until I need it for a specific task and anything else in between. Now I'll jump right into the good stuff and show you what I carry in my camera bag that I use pretty much every weekend. All right, first up, my daily shooting camera. I'm shooting on a Canon T6i with a 10 to 18 wide angle lens. <laughs> I can't talk. <coughs> uh, I think I'm getting sick. A 10 to 18 wide angle lens, and here you can kind of see it. A ton of people use this camera because it's affordable, it's lightweight, has a flip out screen, and on top here I have a Rode Video Micro. This whole thing is sitting on a cheap Targus tripod that I got from Walmart. It was like 15 bucks. It's not the best, but it does what I need it to do. Next up, batteries. I got batteries for this camera. Also in my bag is a Canon G7X. This is a point and shoot camera that I used to first start this channel. Next up, lenses. This is a Canon 75 to 300 for really long shots. I don't use it much because it doesn't have stabilization, but it's good if you're set up on a tripod. Kit lens, 18 to 55. Everyone uses this. So there's nothing wrong with it. Last lens that I use, I don't use this much either, but this is a Canon 50, Nifty 50, Prime lens, whatever the hell you want to call it. Next up, a Hero 4 Session, which I've done a bunch of videos on before. Two terabyte hard drive. This is what I keep all of my video on. If I've ever filmed something with this camera or that camera, everything gets saved on here. So this is actually getting full, two terabytes. I think it was it's only like a hundred bucks at Walmart, so I gotta get another one of these soon. Next up in the top of the bag is this Neewer LED light. I use this when I'm on the go and I don't have my good ring light with me. It works pretty well. It's got rechargeable batteries here that those I actually just got. Those are also by Neewer. This bag, by the way, is a low pro fast pack. I think it was about 120 bucks. I got it at Best Buy, but it's an awesome bag. I've been using it for, what was it, almost like a year now. In the top here, I have a bunch of random stuff like a Anchor battery pack. This charging cable, which is awesome. I tell everyone about this. I actually saw this on Unbox Therapy, but it's like every plug you could ever need. It's got mini USB, micro USB, USB-C, lightning cable, and it's all USB for charging. Headphones for editing on the go. Lens caps, lenses for filming on my phone phone, lens pen cleaner, brick for charging all this stuff, filters for the light, cold shoe mount, GoPro cable, GoPro mount, and of course you can never have enough memory cards. All right, that's everything that I carry in my bag for the most part. Now let me show you some of the other gear that I carry. 
First up, tripods and other camera attachment things, whatever you want to call them. Joby Gorillapod, this is my travel tripod when I don't have this big thing in front of me. Everyone uses one of these, they're super stiff. I've had this for maybe six months now and it's held up pretty damn well. Now, monopod. I used to use this thing for skiing, but now that I've been using my good camera, I'm using something else. This is good for putting a GoPro on the end of it, ripping some selfies while you're out shredding the pow, whatever you're doing with it. But now that I'm using my DSLR, I've switched to this. This is a cheap steady cam that I got off Amazon. You mount your camera with the exact setup on how you have it when you're gonna be filming. So I would mount this camera with this microphone on top of it. So once you set this thing up correctly, you mount the camera on it, and then as you move around, the camera will obviously stay steady, which is how we get steady shots when we're out filming for skiing. This thing doesn't come with me everywhere, but I will be using it tomorrow because we're going out. What else do I normally have with me? Oh, drone, obviously. You guys have probably seen my videos on this. This is my DJI Mavic. Still in the Freewell case, I got filters, a drone, two batteries, controller, everything in a nice neat package here. This is another thing, MacBook Pro, that's what I added everything on. I don't know, some people are interested in that. 15 inch, specced out, whatever. This light, which you guys might be interested in, this LED light is also by Newer, the same one who makes the other video light. This is what I'm looking into at all times. The camera sits right in the middle here. That's how my lighting has been for the last couple of videos. Before, I was just using these ceiling lights and it looks like garbage. So I would invest in one of these or some soft boxes, just something to overall improve the quality of the video that you're shooting. So that's pretty much it. That's what I use to create this content that I'm bringing you guys on a weekly basis. I'm gonna see if I can get this stuff clean and organized now, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. All right, here is the final setup. Got everything I just showed you here. This is some stuff that I can grab and go. Nothing is currently in my bag right now, but I will just load this stuff up depending on what I'm going to be filming for the weekend. Battery stations, chargers, everything. Ammo can full of business cards. Got tools to fix stuff. Got sound, audio. Here's my actual camera setup, looking at it through a better camera. Tripods and everything. Sneak peek at the little merch. So yeah, that's it. All right, so that has fixed my OCD for the day. Hopefully that makes making videos for me a little bit easier, knowing exactly where everything is and everything having a home, always being charged. So it should be pretty good. What? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> JF's getting wrecked in Call of Duty. No, nah, bro, I'm 11-3, I'm turning up. You should hop on Battlefield. Bro, I hate that game. If any of you guys have Xbox One, this is my gamer tag. Hit me up on there. Man, I might regret doing that, I don't know. <laughs> But we play like every night during the week. So if you're trying to come and hang out with us, that's where you can find us. Oh, headshot. That guy's name is Specialist. What a nerd. What a noodle. Sick name, bro. Noodle. <laughs> so it's like five o'clock now. Normally I would be editing and like getting ready to post this video for today, but I really didn't do that much. What time are you doing stuff with your girlfriend? I need to do something. Yeah, I gotta get to her house at like six, so I gotta get in the shower. Wow, dude. Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. Are you sure about that? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Maybe I'll go rock climbing. All right, let's do this. The last time that I was working from home, I used to climb a lot. It was during the summer, and I used to climb when I was growing up, like in high school. I would go maybe two to three times a week, but I never really got into it like I was a couple months ago. When I was working from home, I would go down to the climbing gym like two or three times a week, and then I met a really cool group of friends, and I started climbing with them pretty religiously. Judging by my subscriber base, I would guess that some of you out there climb. I used to be really into bouldering, but once I met these guys, I started to learn sport climbing, and I actually got outside. There's some decent rock walls around here, but I was always used to the gym, so climbing outside really wasn't my thing. I think I went once or twice, and it was a really cool experience, but I'm definitely good with sticking with the gym. As you can probably probably tell I'm not one to work out. I'm not muscular. I don't really care about fitness all that much. As long as I'm not fat, I'm all right with it. But this is a good way to get exercise without really thinking that you're getting exercise.
and I'm home. My hands are a little bit beat up, but I got to climb with some of my friends that I was telling you about, and that was a pretty good first day back. I definitely can't climb like I used to, but it'll come with time. Hmm. I'm pretty sure tomorrow is gonna be a super long day, so I'm gonna try to edit this video and get to bed as soon as possible. Dave, Rachel, Rhodes, and I are all headed up to Elk Mountain up north in PA. We got about a two hour drive, and we gotta get there at first chair, so I'm assuming we have to leave here at like 5.30 in the morning or something like that. Definitely gonna be filming all day tomorrow, and it's gonna be a lot like this video right here, so give that a watch if you haven't already. Don't forget to click subscribe right over here. And I guess that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you tomorrow.